What you can see behind me here is a seawall system made up of large rock placed on top of a non-woven needle punch geotextile. The geotextile is placed against the existing ground to hold the soil in place and stop it eroding from rainwater but more importantly from the action of the waves, the action of the sea. The large rock is placed on top of it to hold it in place, keep it secure and break up some of that wave action. So we're going to get in behind here and have a look at what's actually happening, what that geotextile is doing and how well it's performing. So here we can see the rock wall. And we're going to go down beneath these rocks and have a look at the geotextile. So here you can see the geotextile under the rocks. It's largely intact, it's looking good and it's holding that soil in place. Down under there you can imagine during a storm or in a high tide the action of the waves, the water swirling around in that place there and how much soil it would be dragging out if we didn't have the geotextile in place. You can also see how it can't go anywhere with that rock sitting on top of it. So that's a successful seawall application. Now what happens if the geotextile is not doing its job? It may be that we've specified a product that's too light, or it may be the rock is too large for the application, or it could be the way the contractor is placing it. But if that geotextile gets ripped to pieces during installation, it will no longer do the job that we want it to do. So let's go back underneath a seawall where the geotextile was not sufficient for the job it was being asked to do. So here's another situation where the geotextile has been ripped. Look at this. Look at the size of this rock. Some of these boulders are up to two meters in diameter with very sharp edges. Here's another application where the geotextile has been ripped upon installation. This will allow the sea to get behind it and start dragging those fines out. So we're gonna go back under again in a different place Look at that geotextile now, ripped to pieces underneath the rock. This will not do what we designed it to do. The solution here is to select the appropriate size rock and geotextile combination. Alternatively, we can simply place a cushioning layer of smaller rock between the geotextile and the boulders. Either way, we have to ensure that the geotextile continues to perform its intended function over the design life of the seawall.